Good afternoon, folks. There is a lot of speculation right now about whether or not Solar Cycle 25 has begun. This is based on the appearance of a high-latitude reverse polarity sunspot on the Northern Hemisphere, which is one of the signs of the next solar cycle starting. Let's come right to the sunspot number and solar radio flux on the left and right, respectively. Just so you know, Solar Cycle 24 began in December of 2008, so just looking at that point in the previous minimum, one could argue either way. We could be close to that area, but we also look like we could still have a descent at hand before the switch. Now, sunspots and radio flux are good indicators in general, but they can be deceiving at this point in the solar cycle. I want to express a genuine belief that this is a highly confusing aspect of solar physics, and that the magnetic system of the sun as a whole does indicate we still probably have some time left in cycle 24. I hope to begin by proving just how difficult this can be. Twelve years ago, the world's best sunspot scientist made the same mistake many might be making now. On July 31, 2006, a reverse sunspot was spotted by SOHO, and this led to speculation among NASA's solar group that the next cycle had already begun. Of course, as you heard and can verify yourself, the next cycle wouldn't begin for quite some time when December 2008 rolled around. And indeed, Hathaway's last note of caution is a big clue here, that the sunspot was not much of a sunspot at all. The same can be said of this grouping we have now. After a fast growth, we have seen the magnetism remain as a fast forward of two days shows it stalling out with no remaining umbra. We must also recall that we saw reverse polarity sunspots in 2013 and 2015. It's possible the hemispheric asymmetry on our star right now is causing some confusion inside as to how to present these spots. Indeed, however, this latest spot should probably not be how we judge the cycle end, given that the world's best got confused by it last time. So what do we do? Let's start by looking at the length of this cycle here. Previous cycles and the latest one in pink. Solar cycles average about 11 years. Last one was a bit longer. Previous two were shorter. But thus far, we have not hit the nine-year mark in this cycle, which is the green line. And that would make it an anomalously short cycle if it were to end now. Chances are, we've simply just been tricked once again. We should be closer to a 10 or 11 year cycle, but definitely at least 9. So let's go to the solar magnetic field. Dipole, quadrupole, octopole strength, top to bottom here. Cycle transitions tend to be at the end of that flattening of the minima curve, if I may qualitatively describe the pattern. And it really does not look like we have hit that yet in this cycle, with the exception of the octopole, which has hit the flattening, but which should arguably have the longest and calmest flattening, which is not presented in the data here. And we can present a similar type of analysis to the total, axial and equatorial magnetic fields of the sun, which is top to bottom here, where the axial fields in the middle do look like we could be entering the range of the next cycle, or maybe not, and the total and equatorial fields top and bottom appear to show that we still have a ways to go. Now, I want to look at what I'm going to call the last gasp phenomenon, which I've been looking into quietly for a while. After cycle 23's maximum waned in 2004, a flurry of flares in 2005 was followed by a reverse polarity sunspot the next year, the one that fooled the world's best, and then we got another uptick in December of that year, but the next cycle did not begin for another two years. In the current cycle, after maximum waned in 2014 and 2015, we got a flurry in September of last year, as most of you will remember, and this year, we have another sunspot confused about where, when, and in what attire he is supposed to arrive. I might suggest that while I follow this for the purpose of predicting a very strong solar uptick again later this year between July and November, it also suggests that we might get some of these confused sunspots for a while, but should also remember the large-scale picture of the solar cycle components. Let's see what happens over the rest of this year and if the real cycle end is called sometime late in 2019 could even be a bit later. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.